No, right there. It's just going really slowly. Oh my god, I forgot how slow you were, Quan. Never mind. Here, yeah, have Sync do it. Man, that Ultra Rifle is trash now. 64%. Not worth the trouble. Is that Squirrel that's self tamed? Is there anybody here to trade with that I can sell it to? Like pirate merchant, but I don't, I don't think pirate merchants take squirrels. Yeah, they're just selling people as usual. Nah, doing it. And I'm not selling grump. No. Oh my god, that would seal my fate. The mood penalty you get for selling a slave. Holy shit. Taking them is okay. Oh, we don't mind having a prisoner and letting him rot in a fucking jail cell, but god damn it if we try to take an Oregon to save another colonist, or abuse him in any way, shape, or form, or sell him, or go oh, even put him down. Can't do that. That's unethical. So everybody is just on the anything soldier right now, and I'll just have to take care of it later on. How's this immunity going? You too. Out of here. What was that? Nice treatment. Oh my god, the hair. It made it. Where? Oh. Yeah, hey, you're decent at melee. You can handle the hair, right? Please tell me you can. Thank you. All right, continue doing what you were doing. And right, guys, get treatment. Can I just have a breather right now, please? I need it so bad. This was Brian Tani's. I kind of forgot, almost a little bit. And cream carpeting for him. Yay. So Brian Tiny doesn't have a shit bedroom anymore, right? He's because he's jealous. Where is he even? Kind of left him buried. Oh god, it's happening. Did I have good on there and I had them strip instead? God. You wait, you don't haul, so you can't bury a colonist. Yay! Yeah, okay, we're alright. Get off the ground, minus four, yay. May as well haul that back. Here, equip that. And that. It's an excellent shield sword. Yeah. So haul that back. Well, no, that'll sell better. Haul that back. Let's forbid that stuff. Let it rot. I don't care. We can start hauling that plasteel again. And then, who feels like going down there and fucking up that poison ship? Werelax, thank you for volunteering. We'll let a couple days go by, and then, uh, whoops. Let a couple days go by and then put people's restrictions back in normal as we did last time. Worked out kind of sort of okay. And Jason being the cleaner. There he is, just woke up. Between shoveling and all that, he's got his work cut out for him. Who else do we have cleaning? I think that was... Uh... Uh... Mudman? No. Jason and... Werelax. Oh. Well then. Wow, guys. Wow. Just wow. <laughs>
rebuild all the turrets everywhere. And then, woo, way too far. I so want to just block this off. There we go. Block that shit off. Did you get it? You did it. No AI core in it. Some silver. Both goods came by and we have terrible mood on Seraphild. You are going to rest right now though, that's your issue. And bang, taken care of. And then Zello. Hi. Yeah. Um, Brian Tani, we did check to see if that fixed your jealous room thing, right? wherever he is. No. Yeah. Yeah, that fixed it. Okay. So, I think the only other thing that we would need to do is just vent these just for the sake of sharing temperatures. It might help it equalize a little bit. I don't know. Not a clue. That might be another reason that this whole thing might work out better. Which I'm thinking I still might just do anyway. Just because I'm almost certain that that'll work. Especially since we got the, uh, that going on. Now uh, we'll do vents. Spend the steel. And then structure, what do we got here? Granite? Granite. I think long term, if I live long enough, I am going to move this entrance to down here. I'll just finish mining this out. Get rid of this room. That makes more room for the bedrooms. Slash maybe some hydroponics if I need it and we'll just put the entrance down here or something like that And it'll be an open entrance like that looks like sappers and tunnelers still try to dig through But they try to dig through like in stupid places, too So I don't think there's really anything I can do about that. I can't discourage them from going one way or another They just can't do what they do And we'll just have to deal with that Seraphild is probably sleeping About to break. I'll let you do that slept in the cold he really didn't though, that's the thing. Like, you have a heater right next to you, you sleep directly next to it. It's just, I think it's just the little flickering of the temperature from time to time. God, it's really... Just certain bedrooms do it, like, really badly. There it goes. It's like, why does it dip down so much? That means that when it's like nice out, though, that's the problem. I'd still have to be changing temperatures around all the time. And I really don't want to have to put a second heater in these rooms, because I think it's just the size of the room. The heater shuts off and it immediately cools to a ridiculous temperature. These just fucking hot as hell. 34. We'll see. Combat supplier, what do they got? Talk to Erath Solutions first. Bolt goods. Maybe we can buy some steel or something. I don't really need to, but I don't really want to wait for the hauling to happen. Because that'll be a while. And they got a ton of steel. You could do plasteel for steel. It's uh, almost 4 to 1. We'll wait and see what the combat suppliers got, but I'm just selling some simple meals and that squirrel. And so just to give us a little more money. And combat supplier, I've got crappy weapons to sell. A lot of. Selling off almost all of the weapons, really. That includes a couple of plasteel longswords. Um, even though they're in pretty good shape, I'll just make... I'll make more, or I'll make steel or something. I don't... Uh, melee is still situational, and I need, need, need money right now. So we're doing that. Um, they do have a normal quality light machine gun, which is pretty tempting, because it's six-shot burst. But it's only normal quality, so the accuracy is a bit iffy. But, uh, I don't know. I was asking for one earlier, and I'm really tempted to take it. But I decided against it, because I also have an assault rifle here. 
poor quality, but that's still somewhat kind of accurate. I don't know. Eh, we'll take it. They're still paying me to take it, so I'll, I'll do it. Oh, and I'm buying 30 medicine. Because we're running low slash out because of the illnesses and stuff like that. So, haul that. The few. I have a light machine gun. There you go. There you go, and haul that. Nice. Well done. Not a hauler. There you go. You'll do it. That gives us a couple more weapons to choose from. I kept the good shotgun because shotguns can be pretty nice. Just park a dude around the corner and bang. It's also uh, very situational, but less so than a melee weapon. That's my logic. Two cleaners just going side by side. Look at that. It's nice. And Jason's working on the indoor stuff. Nice little cleaning crew I've got. Uh, it'll take a while, but they'll catch up eventually. And hopefully we get some of that slag done. Selling off the art, it's a art of a Doug, uh, rolling on the floor burning, eh, very typical. And selling the masterwork button down shirt, well, I suppose I don't really need to, but uh, well the duster I'm keeping because I'd like the duster for the, the warmth, it's, that's why I did the muffalo leather. So insulation heat and cold are really good on it, so I'm keeping that, that's for the crafting people and stuff like that. And button on shirt, I suppose I could do sort of the same thing, but that doesn't matter quite as much. So I'll just sell it because again, I need money and I'm buying a prosthetic arm because those are always cool. And I'm really tempted to do the, um, <sighs> that's how we'll end the series. I'm really tempted to do construction Nero trainer, though I can't get the psychic animal pulser if I pick it up, but the construction Nero trainer, very tempted to do that because that's like a little me in a can almost kind of sort of in a way. Um, not to sound demeaning, but if you give that to somebody who's burning passion construction, it'll put them at like 16, 17 instantly. Because uh, it just gives you a shit ton of construction experience. I could give it to 99 because he's interested, he gets 100% of the effect, and that should bring him up to like 19 or 20 construction. Um, Uros would definitely bring them up to 20. Um, Warlocks would bring them up there. Well, Togo would bring them up there. I got a lot of people who are actually decent at construction that I don't really need. Another, you know... Because we had Johan and Little Me um, dead. So I don't really need another godly constructor, I suppose, because everybody else is kind of sort of decent. So never mind. And I think I just spoke to you. I did. Uh, wait, so if that's the case, um, exotic goods. Sorry, you can eat in just a minute. The psychic animal pulser drives all animals in the region to a manhunting rage. So when we're officially bored, we will haul that. Don't activate it. Don't you fucking dare. When we're bored, we'll activate that. And I'm pretty sure that is all the animals in the region will go fucking berserk. That'll be all the hares and muffalo and squirrels and all of it. Hey, there's a thrombo. Thought they'd still be there. There's no way in hell I'll be able to get them. Considering hunting them, but that's dangerous. Especially since we're still working on getting like ourselves all together again. You're hauling, so that means that the mining is finished. Yeah, a little more silver there to mine, so we'll do that real quick. And I might even open this guy up. We'll just have to sort of position around it and climb a bit of the wall, deconstruct it, and let out whatever is in there. What it is, our telling, could be a lot of things. Could be an awful lot of things. Oh god, an escape pod. Okay, I'm just going to call you Lizard. Uh, scratch scar on the left arm. That's a really bad scratch scar, though. Brawler. Abrasive. Go fuck yourself. I don't care. I'll do better. 
The people who wander in off the street are better than that. I don't need any more melee people. I have enough, thank you. Meat's running low, but we have a lot to butcher still. Uh, what restriction was it that I had that set up for? Yeah, the Wheatley Temp. We'll put you back on Wheatley Temp so you get the butchering done. And let's cancel some of these rooms because we need to, whoops, mix it up with limestone and granite because I don't have enough of either or to do a shitload with. So it'll be a bit hodgepodge looking for a bit, but oh well. And constructors will get around to doing that whenever, though constructing is basically on hold because they're all mostly dead. So, we're laxed. God damn, you're the cleaner though. Repair, then clean, then construct. Um, you're repairing the constructing, you're repairing, and then moving on to other things. I need more constructors now. Eld Corp. I think we're gonna have to have you construct. Sorry. I don't think you mind. And when you're not mining, construct. And when you're gonna be doing that all the time. Cargo pods again. Ugh. Agave. No thanks. Mmm, potatoes. I have a lot of people doing that. Uras, since you're really good at construction, I might just take you off growing. So do construction instead. Yeah. I, I feel like you would be a lot better off as a constructor, because we got... That's a lot of people for that little area. Before, when we were doing, like, outside stuff like this, then yeah, I'll definitely need more. But, speaking of which, spring might be coming around the corner here pretty soon. That'll be nice. You can use your soil again, put down some cotton, just do a shitload of trees nearby. Hmm. What it is with you? You're hot. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I crank these up pretty good. God, some of them are really up there. And those are pretty light. That should take care of you. So, Siege. Please be in the tree, please be in the tree, please be in the tree. Okay, you're like right out my front door. My geothermal. Don't set up camp at it. Oh, God. All right. Let's do this thing. 99er, what are you up to? Making a shirt. Yeah, alright, keep doing that. 